all right what's up guys so i was doing my placements on my diamond three account today and i did all 10 placements and got completely destroyed i went one nine and got placed in plat two i think it was a mix of a little bit of bad luck and the fact that i haven't played at high elo for a while there were a couple of games where i definitely could have carried and a lot of the games were just completely out of my control and that's just how high elo goes but that's not what i'm here to talk about so on my ninth game i was playing against a Zerath, and some of the stuff he was doing was very suspect usually when somebody's out playing me really hard in a skill shot battle i just assume that they have better ping than me because that's usually what it comes down to especially at a higher skill level which is part of the reason why i think na needs three servers one for west coast one for the middle and one for east coast anyways i'm going to show you guys every single skill shot that the xerath makes and originally i was going to title the video best xerath na or something like that but there's one play where i'm pretty convinced that he's actually cheating and somebody else caught on to it in my chat as well but i'm also interested to see what you guys think this lane should be good like i should be fine against xerath and by fine i mean i should dump him Oh, he's better than me. Oh, he's way better than me. <laughs> I'm getting dumped on, mommy. How's he do? How is he hitting everything? I think he's missed a single ability yet. I'm getting ganked right now, I bet. He's way too far forward. Whatever, I'm just gonna show this. He's literally hit every ability. I don't think he's missed a single ability yet. Like, does he have one ping? No. This guy has one ping. Like, what can you do if somebody's on top of the riot servers playing from their laptop, dude? I'm gonna get two control wards because I think what's gonna happen is the jungler is gonna come, take one out. Whatever. His farm's garbage. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not like I'm winning in farm at least. How? It's beneficial to do so. The CS. I think he's scripted or something, dude. I don't know how is this is happening. I think he's scripting, dude. He just dodged the Gragas thing. Do you see how he dodged that? So up till now, he's hit every single skill shot and not a single one of my axes is connected. Okay, maybe I'm just bad. But the way he dodges Gragas E here is when I start to get suspicious. But here's what I believe to be the major piece of evidence, the smoking gun, if you will. Notice how immediately after he fires his Q, he walks in the complete opposite direction, then turns around and auto attacks me, then throws his W on top of the Gragas. The amount of precision required, the Q to the left, turn around to the right, and then auto attack back to the left in that short of time frame. It's just way too hard to do. I'll play in real time so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Did you miss those amazing mouse movements? Here, I'll play it in 0.5 times. It's hard for him to know in this situation whether or not the creep is between him and the Gragas or not. And to be able to process that information, coming to the conclusion that it is in fact worth it to try to throw out the E to stun the Gragas, instead of just walking towards the turret and waiting so he can get a clear shot of his stun onto the Gragas, is truly amazing. Considering that if he throws out his stun and misses the Gragas, he's probably dead. Next, while he's escaping, notice how he turns around and auto attacks the Gragas each time his auto attack is back up, which usually in that situation, you would just be running in a straight line. Then he hits a max range Q to kill the Gragas, while the Jarvan could potentially EQ on him, but that does not seem to phase him at all, even though his flash and barrier are both down. I think he's pretty confident that he could dodge Jarvan's EQ, and I think we know why, boys. 